Welcome. This is a full yin yoga class for the spring equinox. This practice is all about embracing the opportunity to shed old unwanted layers and making a conscious choice to begin again. We start in toe stretch pose, so maybe use a blanket and fold it to use as padding for your knees. And then flex your feet, curling the toes under, shift your body back until your hips rest directly on your heels. You may to manually adjust your pinky toes with your hands. Place your palms on your thighs, your back and neck remain long. We will stay here for about a minute and a half. And remember, if this stretch is too intense for you, you can put your hands on the ground out in front of you and maybe keep your hips slightly elevated to make it less intense. Let's release, lift and point your toes back, coming into a tabletop position, just wiggle the toes a bit and make some circles to release this pose. And we come right away into child's pose, so leave the blanket if you had it, knees as wide as the mat or as wide as comfortable for you and then fold over your legs. Extending the arms forward, maybe your fingertips come to touch in a diamond shape. Let your upper body completely rest. Let gravity do the work. And if this doesn't feel comfortable for your head or your neck, you can rest it onto stacked palms or onto a block. With each passing exhale, invite a sense of softening in order to let go of any and all mental and physical tension. And as you inhale, try to sense the warmth and nourishment that comes with an inhale.
we come out of this pose, press into the floor to come back up. If you had a blanket, please remove it. We will come into a yogi squat next. We won't need it. So come to stand. So you can turn your heels in slightly and your toes out. And then drop your hips back down. If you can't come all the way down because it feels like a bit too much, you can always sit up on a block on any level that works for you. So maybe try out for yourself which height works best or if you need a block or you don't need the block. And then instead of pressing our elbows into our knees, this time we will do a bit of a forward fold. So we will just drape our upper body forward and let the hands and arms relax completely. We want to embody the sense of renewal, new beginning, a new season of this new year. And we surrender to it. Let your chin drop to your chest and completely let go. Unwind from this pose and we will come straight into dangling. So just straighten your legs and come into this passive standing forward fold. Both feet parallel to the ground, hip width distance apart or wider and bend your deeps really deep. 
so that your upper body is almost touching or even touching your thighs. Let yourself hang over your legs. You can either let your hand, hands be loose on the ground or you can hold on to opposite elbows, chin to chest. And we will be here for about one minute. Slow and steady breaths in and out through the nose. Release your hands back down to the ground and then come back to seated, lowering down. Next we'll come into shoelace pose, but with a side bend variation. So stack your left knee over the right. And if there is a gap between the knees, that's fine. Try to bring your heels close towards your hips. And if this feels like too much for your knees or your hips, you can sit up on a block like this. That's more comfortable. Or you can just come to a cross leg variation. So just cross leg like this. So choose a variation that fits best to you and your body today. Otherwise, knees stack on top of each other. For the side bend, reach your right hand out to the side and then start by extending the left arm up and over, eventually lowering the left arm back down, letting it rest on your left hip. And try to keep your left hip pressing down, so don't bend too much, so that, the lift, that your left hip lifts up off the ground. The right elbow may or may not come all the way down. Modify however you need to. Let your head be really heavy, inviting in a little net neck stretch as well.
let's come back up really slow and we're going to fold straight over our legs next for full shoelace pose. So you can stay more up straight, pressing your hands into the floor to support yourself, or you can lower further down onto your elbows, maybe propping your head up with some blocks, like I'm doing here. Turn your palms face up and surrender. Melt down and relax. So during this spring equinox, the nature enters a cycle of renewal, growth and expansion in spring. And so does the energy within us. So every inhale, think to yourself, renewal, growth, expansion. And every exhale, think to yourself, let go of what no longer serves you, whatever that may be. Let's come back up slowly, one vertebra at a time. Remove the blocks if you had them as support for your head. And then come to unwind your legs. Before doing the second side, step your feet wide and let the knees drop from side to side in a windshield wiper motion. And then we'll do shoelace pose on the other side. This time your right knee stacks over the left and if there's more of a gap between the knees again that's fine. Alternatively you can have the, you have the option to sit up on a block or just in simple cross legs. Like this. And then do the side bend from here. Otherwise stack left knee over the right. And we start with the side bend. So extend your left arm out to the right, extending your left arm overhead to find the stretch. And then let the left arm drift back down, resting on your left hip. Maybe your right elbow comes down to the floor. If not, that's fine too. You could always also use a block and rest your elbow on there if that's more comfortable. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. Let your head be heavy as you breathe into your right side body.
Slowly start to press yourself back up to center. Maybe do a few shoulder rolls if that feels good to release any build up tension here. And then right away folding forward for full sh shoelace pose. You can prop your head up with one or two blocks, maybe stay up straight or going one step further onto your elbows. Let's come out of this pose, use your arm strength to press yourself back up. Remove the blocks if you had them. And again doing some windshield wiper motions with the legs to release any kinks of the low back and your hips. Our final position before Shavasana will be a lying spinal twist, so please come to lie down onto your back. Reach both arms out to the sides into a cactus shape bent at 90 degrees and then push into your legs to lift your hips up, shifting them a couple inches to the right and then letting the knees drop down to the left. You can stay here or if you want to you could also double wrap the knees, but staying here is totally fine too. Try to keep your right shoulder down to the ground and if it doesn't make it all the way down and you can't keep it down, that's an indication that you've gone just a little bit too far. So if that's the case, prop your knees up with a blanket or a block or even a bolster. Your chest is facing up and the twist is in the mid to lower back only.
At this point in the sequence, it's normal that your thoughts begin to wander. And you're probably feeling all kinds of sensation. And the challenge in Yin is to not get caught up in the stories of the monkey mind, but rather to use each cycle of breath, each in and exhale as an opportunity to start again and to be present in the now. Unwrap the knees, bringing the hips and the knees back to center, coming into the lying twist on the other side. So lift your hips up again, pressing down through the legs and shift a few inches over to the left and then letting both knees drop down over to the right side. Reach out through your arms. One arm can always hold on to the knees if that feels right to you left shoulder stays down to the floor.
Let's come out of this pose, lift the legs back, back up and then coming into a final position but before that maybe pull both knees in towards your chest and give yourself a big squeeze and then when you're ready extend one leg and then the other out. Arms can rest by your side and fully rest here. Taking this moment just to be and not do anything. Just rest. So this is where I will leave you now. Please stay in Shavasana for as long as you have time. And if you choose to come up, remember to do so slowly and mindfully. If you like this class, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I upload new videos every Thursday and every Sunday. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.